On today's video, I'm going to be going over how to create custom YTDs from within Blender for your custom assets. So let's say, for example, you have, I've got these five assets here that are mine and they have custom textures. Uh, I mean, I could go ahead and export each of them, add the textures manually one by one to the texture dictionary in CodeWalker, or I can use this Blender add-on that I'll leave a link in the description for. Um, just go ahead and click code here and then download a zip then just uh, go to edit preferences and then add it and uh, in the preferences window of the add-on there should be like a at the bottom here if you haven't already installed it before you'll need to like install the dependencies uh, I think you just click it and then it'll like show a progress bar and then just wait for it to be done then uh, once that's done you can go ahead and uh, we're just going to select all of our assets that we want for the texture dictionary. Then if we open up the to uh, toolbar and go to the texture dictionary tools, I'm just going to delete this one I made previously. Uh, you'll be greeted with this. So just click create folder from selected objects like this. And here it'll show like the meshes that there's five meshes selected. And uh, we can just go ahead and double click this and rename it. So I'm just going to name it like uh, something like this. Something simple, and then once you have your uh, texture dictionary name set, what you can do is go ahead and down here where it says export list. This is like the export uh, location, so we can just go ahead and set that to a folder. And then for the export list, you can change it to the all of the texture dictionaries here, or just the selected one. I'm just going to go with all for now, and then go ahead and click uh, as YTD files. And then I'll go ahead and process it and export it to the output folder. So here you can see that it's created the YTD in basically seconds. And if we go ahead and open up CodeWalker, you can go ahead and add this. And if we go back into Blender, we're just going to turn all these into drawables real quick. Uh, in Solemns. I'm going to go here. Oh, oops. And I'm going to create a Y type. And let's say you add all these. But you, want, you don't want to set the texture dictionaries manually or whatever. Well, you can go here. And if you go to um, select all meshes in the folder or whatever it's called and then click autofill texture dictionary fields and if you go back into the solemns it'll show that the texture dictionary is now filled out now we can just go ahead and export this we can export our assets as well and if we import these everything should be working correctly I'm just going to restart code walker If we view the model, the thing should have textures. As you can see here, yeah, the, all these have textures correctly. And they're not embedded, meaning the file size is much smaller. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's other options here. You can experiment with them. They're not as useful in my opinion, but this here is going to speed up your, I guess, workflow. So yeah.